start holding a candle for us on this actually solstice day today. So this is to wish you a wonderful solstice, the day when from tomorrow it's going to get lighter every day. And I wish you a wonderful Christmas and a, and a wonderful New Year. Just make sure you can see okay. So we're going to start with our shaking. Focus on your fingers and your wrists first. Shaking your fairy wings. <laughs> And then let's channel our inner strictly with our nice wobbly bottoms. Wiggle your bottom. And then you can shake one leg and then the other leg. And just let the whole body have a good old shaking. So let's warm up our hips with some nice hip circles. Ready to change direction. And thank you for making time for yourself just before Christmas. It's not always easy for people. Figures of eight now. So we're just warming up the body nicely and gently just going with what your body needs so let's go into kidney scoops just gently squeezing on one side then the other lovely so with your feet rooted in earth, we're going to just do nice little gentle twists. <sighs> so this is a really old solstice song. Just focus on your muladhara, the base chakra, and feel down through your legs into the earth, through your feet. And then just a light tap on your tummy at the front and your pelvis at the back. Beautiful, focusing on your Svadhisthan center. Up to the solar plexus. And then awareness to the heart, front and back of the heart, just a light tapping. So we're just going to do a really short bit of heart rate raising, bringing your knees up. And the arms can come up and over. That's lovely. And if you're feeling a bit delicate after the dentist, Flora, just do what's right for you. Beautiful. just a little flick kick across the body and as we flick we're going to stretch the arms up and just clap above your crown just waking up beautiful and then push across
Okay, and then just let the movement still. Your feet are underneath your hips and you're just sending your imaginary roots deep into earth. And I think seeing as I've got the fairy wings on, let's have our arms out like wings as we breathe in. And as we exhale, we slightly round the back. So with an inhale, expanding the heart. Lovely deep breaths. That's beautiful. Just feeling a beautiful expansion in your chest. And just with your own rhythm of breathing. And then when you're ready, raising one knee. And the other knee. Just feeling light and heavy. Light and gravity pulling you down. Beautiful. Now that this may be enough for you. If you want, you can go into a full squat all the way down and then flying light, earth connection, and sky connection. Beautiful. Just do what's right for your knees and your hips. Ooh, falling over. My wings didn't help me fly then, did it, when I fell over? <laughs> so now we're standing with just with one leg with its huge wingspan. And we're tuning into the quality of eagle. The quality of flying so high that we see things from that higher perspective. We see with clarity. Beautiful. One more time. And then you take, take both feet really nice and wide and you've got very good strong legs, strong thighs, and your wingtips are up and you feel really expanded. So your brow center, spacious, spacious heart. And then the wrists dip down like that. So you go dip and you scoop down. This is like the eagle pouncing down to his prey and you bring your thumbs together and the hands come all the way up over the crown and you're reaching up to your highest potential and you bring that into your heart. And we just bow our heads in the gesture of humility, just bowing to life. So once again, as you open your wings, wingtips up, just sensing that expansion in the heart, in the mind, in the belly. And then you dip down with your wrists and like an eagle, pouncing down on its prey, thumbs come together and you come up above your crown, just connecting with your highest potential, your soul's potential and bringing that down, anchoring the, your soul's potential into the heart. Do that one more time. So beautiful eagle soaring and then that laser beam focus as you come down to your prey. Whew. And we're reaching up to the highest in ourselves. And we're anchoring that in the heart. Beautiful. And then with your palms facing up and your knees just slightly bent, all your joints soft and relaxed, just feeling into this gesture of openness to receive, openness to give. And you bring together your ring, your 
baby finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger and thumb. And then you make a triangle that goes down to earth and all the way up to sky. And you bring your fingertips together. That's beautiful. And then release, Whew. turn your palms up and just feel into that relaxation in your giving, that relaxation in your receiving. Baby finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger and thumb, triangle to earth and triangle to sky. Just gazing through to the spaciousness of the sky and fingertips together. One more time, so release. Whew. Palms to face sky. Just relaxing into receiving, relaxing into giving. Baby finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger and thumb, triangle to earth. Feeling the strength of the mountain. That's beautiful and release. And then we're just going to turn to one side and it's like the eagle wings come sideways and into diagonal warrior, bending the front knee and then you make turned up fist, pull your elbows back. So we go spreading those beautiful eagle wings, diagonal warrior and pulling back. So let's think of drawing our power back into ourselves. Anywhere we may have lost a bit of strength or power, we're calling it home. Whew. Whew. One more time. Whew. Beautiful, and then the other side. So gorgeous eagle wings coming to Diagonal Warrior and Drawing back your power. One more time. That's lovely. And we're just going to finish with strong legs, wing tips up. Just lifting the heart, opening to sky and bringing the hands down into prayer position, feet under your hips. And just taking a bow to the highest in us all. Beautiful, so it's time to get ready for a meditation or do whatever you need to do, Barbara. Oh, Georgina. Sorry. <laughs> Put that on um, silent. Okay. So just sitting however's a good position for you for meditation. And we will use the Hakini Mudra. So I'll just go further back so that you can see. So we start by bringing our earth finger, which is the ring finger, together. And just resting the ring fingers in the lap, the other fingers just gently curled. So allowing the eyes to close. And together, opening our awareness to the earth. Both the planet earth and the earth of our bodies.
just sensing, tuning into the quality of earth. And just noticing how good it feels to give your weight, to give all of your body weight to the ground, to feel how holding you. My, my friend has just arrived. <laughs> my friend's at the window. <laughs> Hang on. I'll just tell her to come back in half an hour. Yeah, come in quick so the cat doesn't get out. I was only... I'm finishing. I'm on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> if you're busy, it's no problem. Okay, I'm on Zoom, but I finished in half an hour. Do you want to... You, you're very welcome to make a cup of tea. Oh, okay, I'll hang on. Let me hold the cat. She's with me. I'll, oh, is she? I'll, 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 yeah. yeah. You can just, come, come back in half an hour if you like. I was literally... I've been around the corner to see my friend. Okay. I'm yes. No. But that's all right. So I'll give you a ring later. Okay, thank so, you. Wow. <laughs> oh, Laters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we'll get back to Earth. <laughs> so, here. And then you bring your baby fingers together. So this is the water element. So just in your own way, connect with the element of water. the waters of the earth, the seas, the rivers, the lakes. The waters of your body, the flow of your blood. And just tuning into the um, emotional body and just seeing how, how am I in my emotional body today? How am I feeling? And then keeping all those fingers together, bring your thumbs together. And on this shortest day, connecting with the element of fire, the fire of the sun, the fire that some people have in their fireplaces, the fire of our cooking. Just tuning into all the ways that fire supports us and warms us and nourishes us. And then bringing your index fingers together. Tuning into the element of air. So at a, in a very practical way, feeling maybe some air on your skin, on your face. The air flowing into the nostrils. And the element of air is connected with the mind. And I've, told, I've said this before many times, but the vasanas are the habits of the mind. So for example, this is a funny one. So today, the habit of my mind, my dad used to sing, nobody likes a fairy over 40 or something like that. And I'm thinking, well, I'm 60. <laughs> Is nobody going to like me dressing up as a fairy? <laughs> you know, so as we contemplate the habitual thinking patterns, those conditioned, yeah, the conditioned thoughts, and we just watch them, they're not a problem. So just watching your own thought processes. 
And it's wise not to make an enemy of the mind, just to be the awareness, to be the space in which the thoughts arise. And then finally bring middle fingers together. So we're now in the Hakini Mudra. And the middle finger represents the ether, the space. The space between us. The space between objects. And even in the tiniest thing, like a cell, there is space. So just for a few minutes, focusing not on the object, as we often do, but focusing on the space in which the object is. And the same with our thinking processes, the space in which thoughts arise. So you could even open your eyes and look around your room. And rather than what you might often do, which is look at things, just observe the space in your room the space between things. Maybe you'll see other shapes and patterns just looking in this different way. And as we focus on the space, just notice how you feel. I know for me today, I went to Waitrose without my shopping list and my head was like um, trying to think, you know, I was think, trying to think. And it's such a beautiful thing to just be the space around the thoughts. So I think it's Barbara, I think it might be your nine o'clock now. Shall we say goodbye to you? Have a lovely sleep. See you soon, really lovely to see you. <laughs> and have a lovely time with your family. <laughs> So, Angie and Flora, should we have a, a lovely shavasan now? Would you like a lovely relaxation? Wrap yourself up in a lot. I don't know how warm it is in your houses, but if you want to, get yourself blankets, get yourself cosy, get whatever you need to enjoy the relaxation. If there's any tightness in your jaw, just allow these muscles around your jaw and your cheeks to release. And perhaps you could remember a time when the sun was on your face. Lovely golden warm sun, just softening any tightness in your face. And feeling the weight of your head as you're lying down, the weight of your head being held and supported by the ground, heavy. If you feel it all tight in your neck, you may want to just gently roll your head side to side.
And with your next out breath, bring awareness to the shoulder area, including the pectoral muscles, the top of the chest, including the area behind your shoulder blades, just this whole shoulder area. And with your out breath, take a deep, long sigh. And if you've got a lot of responsibilities at the moment, just feel with the out breath, all that releasing from the shoulders. Any, anywhere you've been a bit like this, fairy wings up. Just, just enjoy the pleasure of letting go. And that beautiful relaxation can spread down, down the upper arms, peaceful, calm, heavy, deep relaxation, flowing right through to your fingertips. And just let all your awareness come to your hands, just sensing the vibration of your hands. Maybe they're slightly tingly the temperature of your hands. And at this time of perfect balance between day and night, as you focus on your hands, just take a moment to consider, are you in balance with your giving and you're receiving. Is there, a, is there a good balance, a healthy balance in your giving and receiving? Okay, I found oh. this on the web for Isvera. <laughs> is there a good balance, healthy balance in your getting receiving? Check it out. <laughs> That's so funny. Siri obviously thought I was asking him a question. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. That's don't need you today. <laughs> So now feeling the back of your body, just allowing all the muscles of your back to soften, to melt, to release into the floor. And again, you might enjoy taking a lovely, deep sighing out breath, just releasing any tiredness, heaviness, tension into the ground, letting go. All those back muscles softening and releasing. And the front of your body, your chest, your breathing just happening absolutely easily and effortlessly now, nothing to do nothing to think about just let that breath flow in a lovely gentle easy way feel the muscles of your chest relax the muscles of your belly relax softening all around your tummy area and allow that relaxation of your tummy to flow down into the pelvic floor, the hip flexor muscles, the muscles of your buttocks, and all the way down the thighs, the big muscles we used earlier at the front and back of thighs. Let your legs become heavy. Just peaceful, heavy relaxation, spreading down legs into your feet, your toes. And having gone through the Anamaya Kosha, the physical body, we'll now take our attention to the Pranamaya Kosha, 
So first of all, we can start by, as we have throughout the class, focusing on the breath, feeling the breath flowing in and out, just naturally. And again, like we did earlier, perhaps you can feel into the vibration of your hands, the energy, the aliveness in your hands. Subtle feeling of vibration. And perhaps you can feel that subtle vibration in the whole of the body. Just see what's true for you. So you're tuning into yourself as an energy, energy being rather than a physical body now. And these koshas are in no way separate from each other. They are like onion rings, not onion rings. <laughs> They're like the layers of an onion. So now we move awareness from Pranamaya Kosha to the Manomaya Kosha. So this is the, the mind and the emotional body. So just watching any thoughts that come up. There's nothing to do with the thoughts. We just see the thoughts as they arise. So there's the vast empty sky of your awareness and these thoughts just pass like clouds they come they go just quite naturally and as you focus on the emotional body your emotions your feelings again just notice if there's a tendency to push emotion away or grasp and hold, hold emotion. Just noticing how it is for you. So as yogis, we're encouraged to be present with all of it. Just be present with everything it is to be human, all our, all our, all our feelings. And from the, the lower mind, the sort of ego mind, the thinking mind, we now let the awareness come to the Vignaya Maya Kosha, which is the, the higher mind, the, the more wise mind. For some people, it's helpful to focus at the Ajna center, the brow center. Just feeling into the spaciousness of sky mind. And you don't have to get rid of your monkey mind. Monkey mind can just do what it does within the vast spaciousness of you. And then with the next out breath, just bring awareness to the Ananda Maya Kosha, the bliss body. Awareness of yourself as, as bliss. And we're just going to listen to this gorgeous piece of music. This is Ajit.
So we're just going to have one more beautiful track from Snatom Kur. I hope I'm pronouncing. So it's time to just for a moment bring your hands to your heart. Just tuning into your heart. How is my heart today? Just allowing space for feeling into how your heart is today. And then you might want to rub your hands to create some heat. And place them over your eyes. Just letting your eyes relax into the darkness. Maybe you'd like to massage your face a little bit. Just gently bringing yourself round. And I'm going to say the words of a my lovely teacher Puma, it's a, um, a saying from the Quechua language and it's Munayata Puse, Munayata Puse, which means may your process of living be a gentle one held in love. And Samin Jaiwe, which is may you be open to miracles, to magic. To blessings. 
Simon Jai Wei. So when you're ready, you can start bringing yourselves round. Okay.